G'day team, Adam Kogan here, and today we're talking about feedback, such an important topic. Uh, SSW is built on feedback. Matt and Yuli are gonna give you their thoughts, and I wanna hear what you think, and I'll come back at the end and give you my feedback. Do you ever find it frustrating when sometimes someone out of the blue just decides to tell you that you did something wrong in exquisite detail? Uh, you're talking about me, I do that all the time. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm a solution architect at SSW. Hi, I'm Ulysses. I'm the general manager here. Um, today, Yuli, I want to talk to you about uh, unsolicited feedback. So at, at SSW, we love feedback and we invite feedback all the time. And it's really important to us. It's really important to us as professionals to grow and to receive feedback. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, it's, feedback is such an important part of how to improve. So we have a retrospective culture because we're really into Scrum. Uh, and we want to be giving and receiving feedback all the time, but you're right, it needs to be done the right way. It's interesting you talk about the retrospective culture because a retro is a forum where everyone invites mutual feedback, right? So the specific purpose of a retro is for us all to give each other feedback, right? But sometimes feedback can come out of the blue. And it's unsolicited. That's what I want to talk about. All right, hit me. So we've got a rule here, right? And um, as, as I said, feedback is important. We all want to give it, we all want to receive it. But sometimes you've got to run that through a filter and decide whether or not to actually offer that feedback. Um, it's all based on what I like to call the D-bad principle. Don't be a <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Trade market. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we get excited about something that we've seen someone do and, and you, just, you just think, wow, that was really cool. It would be better if, and you're just excited and you want to give that to them. Sometimes, you know, we like to, we, we talk about the honesty myth and, and I won't go into too much detail here. Uh, Christy Sachs has got a great talk on, on it, um, which I, I reference here in the rule. I like to, the filter that I like to run it through is asking three questions, or more accurately, asking the same question three different ways. And it's, uh, do I need to say this? And the first thing is, do I need to say this? And you put the emphasis on the I. And what I mean by that is sometimes it's not appropriate because of the context, sometimes it's not appropriate because of the, uh, the relationship between the two people. I've got an example here in the role. I was once at a Christmas party and uh, I remember seeing someone after a few beers just chewing the CFO's ear off about the financial strategy for the organization. And you know what? I didn't hear the ideas. They may have been spot on. They may have been great. But, you know, she wasn't the person to give the CFO that feedback. That's just not the right way to go about it. So I like to ask that question. Do I need to say this? And in the context of, you know, what we do, for example, um, you know, there may be other people involved that are closer to the person or the issue and just may be more appropriate. And the other thing is that if you've noticed something for improvement, there's a good chance someone else has as well. So just ask yourself, am I the right person to offer this feedback? And you can even check, you can even ask around, you can even find out whether that issue is covered. Um, what would you reckon about that first filter? Well, my first uh, devil's advocate fear of that is you don't speak up because you think, oh, I'm not the right person. And then everyone thinks that and nobody speaks up and yeah. something goes unraised. Yeah. So I would say if you find that you've noticed something where you feel that this needs to be said, but maybe I'm not the right person, at least raise it through a different channel to find the right person to talk to them. Absolutely agree. And that, that, that's why I say, you know, ask. Um, and, and really all of, all of uh, you know, everything where I'm going with, with all of this is, is about ask, mm. right? Um, and we'll come back to that. So let's look at the second, the second part of feedback, right? Which is, do I need to say this, okay? If you don't need to offer that feedback, there's a very good chance that you shouldn't offer that feedback. Yeah, so in other words, I've thought of a thing to say, but is this actually a valuable thing to say? Exactly, yeah. yeah. And who is that value to? Is, mm. is this feedback for my benefit or for the person yeah. providing it to me? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. So the third one, the third part of this filter is, do I need to say this, right? The example I've got here in the rule is, um, let's say we're in a meeting with a client together, right? And we come out and you you just don't think that I looked good enough for a client meeting. Now, if... if We've had that conversation. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we had it We had it about this video. <laughs> um, now, I think, you know, when your company's got a dress code and you think that someone hasn't been adhering to that dress code, you can politely point that out. But, you know, what you can't say to someone is, your makeup's terrible or, you know, you're too fat, you know? Commenting on someone's appearance is just not okay, right? Yeah. And I think, what do you think? Yes, no, you're, you're right. There's appropriate and inappropriate feedback. So yeah, even even for a general manager, there are things that I should and shouldn't say to people. Yeah. So let's say you've run you've run it you've run your feedback through all these filters and um, you've decided uh, 
yeah, I, I think I am the right person. Uh, or you've asked around and people have said, yeah, by all means, go and provide that feedback. You know, we've got, in terms of presenting it the right way, we've got the checked by rule. You can make sure that you're going to, you, you know, that you're, because tone is obviously very difficult to convey, which is why we always check everything for each other, right? But I think the most important thing you can do is ask. Because I can say to you, hey, Yuli, I, I saw something that you did and um, some work that you're doing. I thought it was awesome. I have some feedback on it. Can I share that with you? Yeah, it's funny because... Uh... Almost no one's ever going to say no. Exactly. You know, exactly. but it, it, it op like you said before, the retrospective culture, it opens up a retrospective. Now you're in a sort of social contract with that person where, you know, saying something nasty is not out of the blue. Um, it's, it's with the shared understanding that this is for the betterment of us all. Yeah, awesome. Well, thanks for that. Um, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to invite some feedback now. So overall, what are your impressions of this rule? Do you think this is? Uh, I think it's great. I do have one question though. Yeah. Who asked you to write this rule? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. And nobody. It's I, I offered this rule to SSW completely unsolicited. Very nice. All right. Well, I think it worked out well. Great. Awesome. Well, thanks, Yuli. I appreciate your input. Boris. So I'm Matt for SSW, and this is Yuli. Signing off. Thank you very much. Well, well, well. Do I need to give this feedback? And the answer is yes. In my mind, all feedback is good feedback, as long as it's respectful and constructive. You know, it's understandable and actionable. Matt's point about retrospectives was gold. You know, a retrospective, you start with the good points. It helps people understand what went well and get them ready to listen, and then you go through the things to improve. Inside a company, feedback should be free-flowing. When you're talking with people outside your company or outside, um, you know, you're not well known to them, you've gotta be a lot more careful with the way you give feedback. It can all almost always be solved with a phone call first where there's more context than an email. Uh, the easy way to remember this is praise in public, criticize in private. I am super keen to hear your feedback. Please throw it down there in the comments. We all want to learn. This is Adam Kogan signing off for SSWTV.